Hi guys and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. So let's see what's in here. Last time we heard some weird screaming, so I think it came from in here. Let's see. Seems to be a big... Um, cellar here. Uh, at least a big cellar door. Maybe the cellar is not that big. Can't reach? Why can't you reach? Can't you walk on that? Doesn't look like it. Let's go. What is expecting us here? Mind flayer? What the hell? Final warning and a ball. Uh... Stuffed all bear toy. Did he play with a toy and got screwed over? This is a notice demanding that the miller pay off his debt, lest his creditors oust him and claim the mill for themselves. Uh, that has nothing to do with this, I suppose. Before you lies the unconscious body of a mind flayer, <coughs> glistening and raw. Someone that transformed? Unattended. How fortunate. It doesn't feel very fortunate. Oh, but it is. This one has only just transformed. It is weak, vulnerable. It's potential ripe for harvesting. Go on. Kill it. Absorb its power. What? Just like you did before. Um... Wake the newborn mind flayer? Come no closer, you. You. What are you? What am I sensing? You are like me. Like I was. A vessel yet to transform. Help me. I am so hungry. Uh, kill it with fire? Was it you I heard screaming when I entered the windmill? My vessel. He fought the transformation. He found it excoriating. Okay. I can still taste <coughs> his terror. It is delicious. But will not sustain me. We need to feed. We need a brain fresh and frantic to restore our strength. Tech? You betray us then you shall be our very first meal oh people didn't even react attack it comes to this and turn um bull rush him Hello? You can't? Okay, then just attack him. Um, and your turn? Carla? Where is your normal attack here? Um, jump? There, uh, there. Now hit him. Again. Okay. And your turn. 
Shadow, take him out, please. 12, that's too risky for my taste. Let's do a level 3. Okay. The creature was born recently. Its mind is still fresh. You can absorb its potential if you consume it. Ring of Truthfulness, Ring of Veracity. You gain an advantage on insights checks. This could be nice. Absolute orders for the newborn. True Soul Alliance. Your time has come. The absolute calls to all faithful and you have been faithful indeed. Leave your barracks, leave your armor, leave all insignia of rank behind. You are part of the flaming fist no longer. You have been a loyal true soul, but soon you will be so much more. You will be one of us. Okay. Um... Take off. <coughs> Let's see this ring. Where is it? What's my other ring? Hmm, let's take this one. I won't eat the brain. Why are there toys in what here? That's weird. And we have to find the toys, that's right. Um, let's see, let's go into town and see where there is children. Let's try getting the toys back. These don't seem to be children. Where are the donations? Still have to explore this. And this. Um, we found a black. Uh, we should find them and quickly. Here's a child. Mummy keeps talking about some army, but she won't tell me anything about it. I'm not a baby. Do you have a toy? No. There's a child. Or do we just have to find the toys? Randomly lying around or something, maybe? We found a few. Huh. Um, let's go up here. Yeah, some kids. You can't get in trouble for trap, for tress, for sneaking into places as a kid, right? Just wondering. Of course you can. We're gonna see the mummy, the dryad, the Ginny, everything. So don't even think about trying to stop us. Okay. Yonks, Zorg, Kintara. This seems like a weird group. After a job, Neverwinter is on the lookout for adventurers. That's where we're headed. Oh, this is probably like um, a reference to Neverwinter Nights. Let's talk to these guys. They have a kid around. A Baldurian. Good. Lots of unfamiliar faces in the city these days. Says there's already too many refugees, and the city can't hold any more. We've got to keep them out. Okay. All this kerfuffle over missing rat caps. Yes, we'd caged them due to unruly behavior, but 
as our red cap cleaners demonstrate. Most are perfectly harmless. Red cap cleaners? How many red caps are there? friend tries to get you to invest kindly turn her down she doesn't need the encouragement okay um up here i think was it right the camp of those other guys no oh that's the way we came i want to go there so totally different way. Um, here? No, up there. There's some wine growing over there. Behind this building. Aldous Maud, PR issue 1983, Traveler's Chest. Sindra Main. I'm busy. Mind your own. Okay, let's read this for free. Curse to put my hands on everything. Citizens must come first. Claim Scortash over refugee rabble. Absolutely unwelcome. Cold offered cold shoulder in city. Crackdown on crime crews. Destabilizes underground. First Gala celebrates, celebrates recruiting season. Steel watch keeps tight grip on crime's throat. Waterdeep waits through red tape over sending aid. Meeting meat standards and the common red siege tips. Huh. This is a camp, a refugee camp. So we haven't explored this either. Gronk? Or Grunge? Ah, whatever you need, I can't help you. Even talking is painful right now. Okay. Let me take a look at that wound. After a quick examination, you conclude that your patient is pretending to be wounded. You wonder why. Really? This isn't necessary. I'm sure there are other people that need your help more urgently. Because he gets food. This is barely a scratch, what's the idea? Shh, not so loud. If those lads find out I'm faking, they might go off on their own. They're not ready for that. And frankly, I'd miss them. I don't really have any other friends. And I like those lads. So I think I'll stick around a while more. Which lads? These ones? Flint splitter. Bright, bright. Zoru, Dennis, Dorish Main. So this is like a refugee camp. Poet Breath. <laughs> okay. Oh, up here it goes to the camp. I think. Take the wood from the cart too. That'll be good for a fire, if nothing else. Find us bloody keepers, I say. Bloody savages, a lot of them. We're as desperate as the rest of these. <laughs> if you're here to fill an empty stomach, look elsewhere. Folks swarmed what little was had, stuff in their pockets. Bloody animals. Okay. The state of this car. And they left the dead chicken lying around? That's weird. For someone that's hungry. Oh, it's just a little spot up here. We didn't go to. Shouldn't 
child's drawing, wooden bench, not enough space. Okay. There's that other camp down there. Household prayer. Hmm. There's a lot of blood down there too, because they killed more chickens. Okay. I think that's most of it in this area. So let's move on to this little village here before the gates. There's some people standing around and stuff. Maybe go to an inn or something, try and getting some more quests. Where's that big robot? Or like... Um... South Pan checkpoint. It's like a guard building, citizen. Listen, it's got private rooms, music, and all round pleasant folks, from what I've heard. And if a page worms crossing confuses me for a member of this place has been a haven. Probably when harpers were less than welcome in the city proper. Oh yeah, we could talk to her about what happened Speak? at the at the harpers. Tell her what happened at the harper safe house. <laughs> Orin knows the hunt. In one stroke, she places the harpers beyond our reach. Separates us from our pack. Until we know who the false facers are, we cannot trust anyone beyond ourselves. Okay. So what next? Um, who is this Rashima you had your harpers searching for? A shame of mine. Redoubled because I did not tell you everything sooner. Tell me. What do you know of a man named Mintz of Rashomon? Nothing. <sighs> oh my god! Minsk! The name is as familiar as Jahira's own. A hero of the time of troubles, who saved the city more than once. There isn't a Baldurian alive who doesn't know that name. But few know of his fate, I think. I had hoped to keep it that way. Minsk is an old friend. Perhaps my oldest. We fought at one another's backs, times beyond counting. And the last time I saw him, I left him to die. I expect there's... I suspect there's more to the story than that. There always is. But that is still the fundamental fact of it. Okay. Before we ever heard of this absolute, we received word of a gathering in the Undercity. What we found was the first dark seed of this plot. A circle of cultists with mind flares in their midst. We might have ended it there. Cut off at the root, but before I could send for help, Mince charged in alone. It was chaos. He was overrun. Dragged down beneath a mass of tentacles. I had a choice. Stay and let word of this cult die with us. Or leave him. And live to fight another day. And here you are. You made the right choice. Don't second guess yourself. The world takes much from those who presume to defend it. But Oops. sometimes, you get to take it back. So don't be sorry, because I mean to use you, if you're willing. Infection, indoctrination, eradication. That has been the fate of everyone the cult has captured so far. But it has not been yours. With your help, perhaps it need not be Minsk's either. Um, why are you telling me this now? Because I was playing the pragmatist and writing my friend off for dead. Then I met you. If I seem suddenly flushed with hope and soft feeling, you have only yourself to blame. <laughs> oh, the point is moot without a means to find him. Without the Harpers, we shall have to find another path. Means. Better idea of what that is once we're through the gates. 
Seems I need to reacquaint myself with this damned city. That was one of the of the um, characters in the first game. Or in the second? I don't know, maybe in both. Who are these? Why are some people so strange about Sharesh's caress? It's just sex. People are just walking into Sharesh's caress like it was any old business. No disrespect to you, of course, if you're a patron. Um, is this the place? Yeah, let's go see what this is all about. Seems that there's a lot of people in there. Welcome to Charis's caress, where the only thing that goes down easier than our drinks is our courtesans. <laughs> a weary traveler, battered and bruised, you come for sustenance, no decadence. A mien cool as ice, yet eyes burning hot. Oh yes. I know your bliss. A sturdy dwarf, a leather whip, she gives, <laughs> you receive. Or have I misjudged you? A sturdy dwarf with a leather whip. <laughs> um, you're way off, I'm afraid. Am I? Your eyes tell a story, sweeting. You crave more than pleasure, you crave penance. My eyes really it's tell a story. You seek, our stern librarian. She isn't here today, alas. Your penance must wait. Well, we've other ways to fill your void. A drink for one, a pair of drow for another. Choose your sin. A pair of drow? Are there other options for companionship? Nisha, our lovely nymph. She's engaged in the nymph's grotto on the top floor, sweeting. The client's a favorite of hers, too. I doubt you'll be able to tear her away. But we are blessed to have a devil in residence at the moment. A temporary guest. But he asked that I send any potential clients his way. Everyone who's paid a visit looks quite changed <laughs> by the experience okay um did the devil give you its name indeed he did raphael exceedingly handsome and with a voice that could make the foulest blasphemy seem the sweetest hymn. is that the guy we have talked to already leave Fist Irania. You're looking parched, sweetheart. Another tankard? Hell, Stalin. Another sip and I'm like to spill over. But other anchoring for spicier flavours. How about you give me a taste? Leave. I promise. Human citizen, 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 ear spoon, and Borgos element. Ear spoon? softly to each other. A single name reaches your ears. Nine fingers. Hmm. History save failed. Leave. Um, maybe her? Not looking for more company. Hmm. Forget your work. Let's get going. Oh, here's the, the, the investigator. Okay, sure. Instead of investigating, he's here having fun. Another case closed, another bottle open. Huzzah to Valeria! 
<laughs> what is that thing? Hang on a sec. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. I bet she's put you up to something. What is this? <laughs> I'm just here to drink, afraid so. I found new evidence, investigator. She asked me to find Lorgan's real killer, seeing as you can't be bothered. I found new evidence. Why must you busybodies insist on interrupting a perfectly good night? Ugh, I know that look. You remind really? me of Devella. Fine. If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What have you found? Um, I spoke to Brilgor's spirit. A red-clad dwarf killed them both. A group of shapeshifters that were under the temple, along with more murder victims. Yeah. While that is startling, it still doesn't disprove my theory that Brilgor killed Father Lorgan, does it? I need proof. Hard proof. A motive, too. Otherwise, I'm afraid the case remains closed. Hmm. I presume you found something interesting to discuss. I spoke with Bilgor's spirit. A red-clad dwarf killed them both. That doesn't make sense. Why would this dwarf kill Father Lorgan? I need something more than vague allegations. Look, I appreciate the amateur investigator act. It's oddly flattering, with emphasis on the odd. But without hard evidence and an. Did this update the case? The High Harper. Shahira Harper Shahira's Harper rendezvous turned out to be an ambush by doppelgangers. She revealed that she was hoping for information on an old friend who was taken by the cult, Minsk of Rashemin. She will search out a new way to find him once we've reached the lower city. Deal with the devil. We spoke with Mamsel Amira on the ground floor of Charest, Caress, and she mentioned that the devil Raphael has taken a room on the top floor. What's he doing here? We should pay Raphael a visit and find out. Okay. Here are the stairs. Top floor. Is this the top floor already? No. Maybe it is. This the room of that other thingy, I guess? Can we look into there? Maybe not. Um, maybe here? Double metal doors? Raphael! Devil's Den. Uh, maybe throw down a save? I think it's just auto save, but I like to save myself. Before this goes wrong. Nice room! I'm glad you came. Not to my door. Not yet. But, to the final reckoning. One more thing before we begin, though. Begin what? To fight? For the first time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. It's unsettling. Did you just cure me of the tadpole with the flick of your finger? <laughs> Wouldn't that be exquisite? But no. I'm afraid the tadpole is still there. But I did shut out your other visitor for a while, so we can enjoy some privacy. Okay. Lithid can't hear us. Huh. 
What's the catch? Then speak freely. Tell me why you brought me here. I brought you here because I'm true to my word. And I can make all of this tadpole business go away. Which means you and your lovely friends can remain blessedly free of tentacles. Unless some have already sprouted in places I can't see. <laughs> Let us speak plain. I'll admit, you've impressed me. I wasn't sure you'd make it this far. But no matter how far you come, you're still on the road to ruin. A road that leads directly to a confrontation with the Elder Brain. At best, it will kill you and everyone else in this city. At worst, it will assimilate you, and you won't have enough free will left to even wish you were dead. You have the key to destroying it in the palm of your hand, though. Who is Orpheus? The astral prison? In a manner of speaking. But it's the one inside the prison that you need, not the Elithid, the Gith. I can give you the means to break him free. Okay. Orpheus guards tried to kill me, he's dangerous. To Elithids, yes. But despite your reckless embrace of the parasite and recent mutations, you're no mind flayer. Not yet. Orpheus would gladly execute the Emperor. But to you, he will be a friend. After all, you're at war with an Elder Brain. All the evidence I've seen suggests Orpheus is my enemy and the Emperor my ally. If I'd realized you were so gullible, I'd have tricked you into selling your soul for a pocket full of beans when we first met. To the Emperor, you are nothing more than a beast of burden. One that will transport it to the Elder Brain. An ox requires food and the occasional beating to keep it moving. You are simpler. The Emperor's words serve as both carrot and stick. Perhaps it is true that Orpheus would ally with you against the Elder Brain. But if he proves uncooperative once free, you may have to kill him. Hmm. Damn. Um. How do I free Orpheus? Do, do I go against the Emperor? Or do I go... Um, who do I trust more? The Illiterate or the Devil? The Illiterate has helped me until now. Um, it's worth taking the wrist. How do I free Orpheus? The Orphic Hammer. An artifact capable of shattering the chains that hold Prince Orpheus is held securely in my House of Hope even now. Perfect. Give it to me. <laughs> Such an eager little pup. Surely you realize there is an exchange to be made. You scratch my back. I scratch your parasite. There it is, of course. Um, 
damage. Sorry guys, I will have to make a cut here. I have to go. So, yeah, we will have to continue this next time. Ah, nice, we can save and stop it in the middle of the con conversation. I wasn't counting on that. That's good to know. Uh, yeah, I have uh, overstayed some episodes already because I thought I couldn't stop in the middle of a conversation. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Come back for more next time and I will see you soon. Bye.